More Muslims have converted to Christianity in the last 50 years than the previous 1400 combined. This video introduces a series of videos that tells their stories and investigates why Muslims are converting in record numbers. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you're notified of future videos as they're released. In the year 622, Muhammad and his followers moved from Mecca to Medina, according to Islamic tradition, thus starting the Islamic calendar. Over the next several centuries, Muslim armies spread Islam in every direction. Eventually, they turned the Middle East, Northern Africa, Persia, and Asia Minor from mostly Christian to almost entirely Muslim through a combination of violence and social pressure. During this time period, conversion in the opposite direction, from Islam to Christianity, was rare. David Garrison, author of A Wind in the House of Islam, uncovered just three large conversion events, or movements, from 622 until 1850. Garrison defines a movement as at least 1,000 Muslims in one ethno-linguistic group who voluntarily demonstrate conversion via baptism or a hundred new church plants within the same community, all within a 20-year period. In the late 19th century, things began to change, with local-led movements breaking out in Africa and Indonesia. The 1960s saw substantial progress as revival broke out in Indonesia, leading to two million conversions over a five-year period. By the end of the 20th century, there were around a dozen active Muslim movements to Christ spanning much of the Islamic world. Around this time, Garrison, who had been involved with Muslim missions since the 1980s, began to become aware that something dramatic was happening, as suddenly he was meeting missionaries with names like Muhammad, Omar, and Abdullah. When Garrison started investigating, he thought there might be a couple dozen active movements. He divided the Islamic world, or what Muslims refer to as Dar al-Islam, the House of Islam, into nine rooms, broadly representing the different geographies and cultures where Islam is the dominant religion. These are Indo-Malaysia, Eastern and Western South Asia, Turkestan, East, West, and North Africa, Persia, and of course the Arab world. Garrison hoped to find at least one movement in each room. By the time his research was complete in 2013, he had uncovered 69 active movements. He personally visited 44 of these across 29 different countries, conducting hundreds of interviews with Muslim background believers. Their stories and the research on how Muslims are being reached led to the book A Wind in the House of Islam, published in 2014. When I interviewed Garrison in 2019, he said that he continues to hear of new movements and estimated the number of movements might have doubled again in just the last five years. He added that even he couldn't believe the number of converts he was hearing about. Even without taking these new movements into account, more than 80% of all Muslim movements to Christ have started in the last 25 years. Think about that. Nearly five out of every six Muslim movements to Christ have started in just the last quarter century. After more than 13 centuries of Islamic growth, the Gospel is pushing back against the aggressor, and the early results are dramatic. A study conducted by Duane Miller and published in the peer-reviewed Interdisciplinary Journal of Research on Religion around the same time as Garrison's book came to the same conclusion independently. Miller estimated that there were more than 10 million Muslim background Christians in the world as of 2010, the majority of which had come to faith after 1990. He also concluded that the number of Muslims coming to Christ was increasing steadily, with more than 300,000 converting annually during the 21st century. What is driving this sudden and unprecedented interest in Jesus? Garrison and Miller both list several factors ranging from increased missionary focus and prayer to the translation of scripture into the vernacular to reactions against violence by Muslim governments and terrorists, among other things. In future videos, I will go into greater detail, highlighting specific examples of each. 
First up is Indonesia and the story of Sadrach, a Muslim convert credited with leading 10 to 20,000 Muslims to Christ and laying the groundwork for later movements within Indonesia. You won't want to miss his story or any of the videos in this series. A glorious wind is sweeping through the House of Islam as the Spirit of God descends upon the Muslim people groups in unprecedented ways. I, for one, am excited to see what the future holds as millions leave Islamic darkness for the light of Christ. Thanks for watching.